Okay, last thing I'm going to show you is how you can edit some of the settings in Cognero. So over on the, well, what I, what I want to show you basically also is that you can, for all the tests that you have created, you can actually take those and you can drag them and simply drop them onto the right hand pane and that will load up the test that you've already created, which is what we're going to do because I want to show you what some of your options and some of the settings are. So if you come over here, this is where you can actually create your own question, which some instructors will probably ask you if you can do. So let's say we're going to create a multiple choice question, then you can type in the question here, what is the meaning of life, and then you can type in all the answers here. So that is possible to create your own kind of question and there are many different kinds of questions that you can create. You can also organize it by question type so if you want all the true false on top and all the multiple choice down below or the short answer last you can definitely do that if you'd like to scramble the questions you can do that. Um, <clears throat> you can create a preface which is basically what you want them to see first and Another thing that you can do is you can change the points. So if you go to the assign all points, this is where the instructor can change the point value. So in this case, I think they're all set to one. So you could set them simply by coming over, setting them to two. Okay, so those are some fun things that you can do with Cognero and some of the options. There's a couple more I will show you. Uh, let's see, you can adjust the choices and the columns. So let's say you didn't want to have four choices for your multiple choice. You wanted them only to have three choices. You wanted it to be in a couple of different columns. So here I can revert, you know, let's say I only wanted them to have two choices or three or whatever. And let's say I wanted it to be in one column or two columns. You can also do that. All right, what else can I do? I can <clears throat> either show the instructions and the instructions are simply indicate the answer choices. That's your instructions. You can't change those, right? You can display the question information, which we've already gone through, and that's this information down here in terms of level of difficulty, learning objective, so on and so forth. You can view the language and you can also change the language. So if you wanted it in Arabic or French or German, Spanish, I guess there's Haitian Creole just in case, then you can change the language. So it might be good for you softsiders. All right, so those are the things that you can do under the test thing. Under here, you can replace a question. You can even replace the font. So if I wanted all fonts to be, um, I don't know, maybe this is my favorite font. Then and you can also include the size here so you can reduce the size, right? Um, you can include, you know, different text for the answers and the preface. So you can change that around just a little bit. So just a couple of little customizing options. And the last option I'll show you is under styles. And this is where you can choose what kind of format you want it to be in the question number if you want it to have a little circle or a little box, right? If you want it to be A without the period or A with the period, or A with a colon, you can do that, okay? You can also change it from A, B, C, D to F, G, H, whatever, right? So those are the last options I wanted to show you.